Hello, this is Cynthia in the TLC, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to create a banner in PowerPoint that you can use in your course in Blackboard. Alright, so I'm in Blackboard right now, and this is a banner that I created in PowerPoint. And I created this one to go along with a certain Blackboard theme. So this is the chemistry theme. It's called, you can see it in the background, kind of a blue, green, and brown. Um, and the theme matches pretty nicely with it. Um, but, you know, that's just one option. You can um, create a theme just using the PowerPoint themes um, or just use a, a gradient color background, many different options that we'll take a look at. So just open up PowerPoint. We're just going to start a new presentation. The first step is going to be to go to the design ribbon. And over on the right side, we're going to choose slide size. Click, just click the arrow and choose custom slide size. Okay, the dimensions that we want is going to be 10 inches width by one and a half inches height. Okay, we want it the landscape um, orientation, of course, and don't worry about the notes and handouts options. So, and we just want the one slide, so just click OK. And we'll use the Ensure Fit option. Okay. All right, now, um, oops. Excuse me. The banner looks a little bit small, but um, don't worry. This is the size that I used to create the banner that you just saw on Blackboard. So now we can decide what we want it to look like. So again, under the design ribbon, um, if you click, let's see, if you click, here are some of the themes here, but if you click this bottom arrow, it will show you all the, the options for PowerPoint themes by default that we have access to. Okay, so you can just kind of go through and see what you like. I'm going to settle on this one called Berlin. And so I'm just going to put the name of my course, for example. And I don't have a subtitle, so I'm just going to delete that text box. And I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger. Again, go back to the home ribbon and choose the font size I want, oh, maybe, what do we say, 24, and just move it down a little bit. Size that up, whoops, size it up. And maybe I want that over on the right side. Okay, now um, let's jazz it up a little bit with an image. So for Blackboard, I'm just going to go, I had found this logo that I'm going to use. I'm just going to right click the, the image. This is just in Google Images. And choose Copy Image. Go back to PowerPoint. I'm going to right click and choose the Keep Source Formatting. There it is. And I think I'm going to put it in this yellow ribbon since it has that little bit of yellow around the back. Alright, so good enough for uh, amateur here. <laughs> Alright, so you want to keep this banner in two formats. One is PowerPoint, so you can always have this as a template in case you forget what are those dimensions I needed, you know. So we'll just use this as a template. So we'll do File, Save As, and, you know, put path to wherever you want to save the, the um, banner. Put it in here, and I'm going to call it banner template, okay, um, so that I know what it is, right? So click OK. Do I want to replace it? Yes. Okay, so, so there I have my template ready, but now I want to save it for my class. So again, I'll do File, Save As, again, go to where I want it to be. So now I'm going to give it the name of the course so I can recognize it. Um, banner Okay, but I don't want it as a PowerPoint, I want it as a JPEG, okay, that JPEG image format. Okay, so under Save as Type, I just click the arrow and chose out of the formats JPEG. Okay, click Save. Again, I'm just, I had practiced with one earlier. Now you get this option, just saves this one slide as an image or all slides to come in case there are going to be more. So I'll just say just this one because I only have the one anyway. Alright, so now I have my template, banner template, and then I also have a banner image. I'm going to um, minimize this for now and go back to Blackboard. And I'm going to change this image to the one I just created. 
So if you don't know how to do that, from the control panel under customization, I'll just close that ribbon, um, customization, we're going to choose teaching style. This is where you choose the themes. As I said, I'm using the chemistry theme right now in Blackboard. Um, you can choose your themes from here. You would scroll and look, you know, decide which theme you want. This is where you choose the color, whether you want it to just be text on the as your navigation buttons, or do you want them to be look like buttons? And in that case, then you have the button library. You could choose from patterns or stripes to jillions of options. All right, I'll just close that. But for to add your banner at the bottom of the page is where you add your banner. So since there's a one currently there, I'm going to say delete that banner and choose the one that I want. Remember, we want the JPEG format. Okay, and then click submit. Okay, and it shows on the announcement page. Ta-da! There it is. All right, so that was pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, you can, you know, make a banner for a different banner for all of your courses or use the same kind of design and theme and just change the words to match your course. It's up to you. And the nice thing about using this PowerPoint is you don't have some of the um, advertisements that you get on some of the free websites where you can create banners. There'll be some kind of advertisement or logo for their um, their own advertisement, the website's advertisement. So. Anyway, this is how to make a banner in PowerPoint. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the TLC. Thank you.